The Rainbow Theater presents The Care Bears and the Talent Contest. When you hear this, <laughs> turn the page. Let's begin now. There's a floating land up in the sky called Carolot. Where the Care Bears live and by and by they'll share a lot of love with you. And if you're feeling happy or even feeling blue, there's sure to be a Care Bear. The shoulder you can cry on There's Wish Bear and Good Luck Bear With his fawn clover Baby Tuts and Bedtime Bear But when the day is over The Care Bears are here Let's give them a cheer In the whole of the hearts They're ready to start Caring for you The Care Bears are here Let's give The Care Bears were having a game of hide-and-seek in their cloud home of Carolot. Friend Bear stood beside the Hall of Hearts, her eyes shut tightly. She began to count. One, two, three. Oh, Fuzzy, where can I hide? Where can I hide? Cheer Bear looked frantically around and then ran towards the heart tree. Friend Bear will never find me up here. <laughs> Grumpy grumbled as he squeezed himself into the small, empty rain barrel. I don't know why I'm bothering to hide. I'll be caught first. I always am. And it looks like rain. Soon all the bears were hiding. When Friend Bear had finished counting, she looked all about her wondering where to begin her search. Suddenly, there was a loud shout, and Tenderheart leapt up from behind a bush. He had accidentally sat on a sleeping shooting star, which had snuggled comfortably behind the bush for a snooze. Yeah! Tenderheart's cry gave poor Cheer Bear a fright, and she fell tumbling out of the heart tree. Luckily, Friend Bear created a daisy cushion for her to land on. Caught you both. Friend Bear tapped Cheer Bear and Tenderheart on the nose and then went to look for the others. <laughs> a loud snoring noise was coming from inside a cloudmobile. Sneaking up on tiptoes, Friend Bear opened the boot and there was Bedtime Bear, curled up fast asleep. Caught you. She whispered quietly so as not to wake her sleepy chum. She knew bedtime had worked very hard the night before, making sure all the children had sweet dreams. A trail of tiny love hearts led the clever bear to a cloud cave on the far side of Carolot. She found love -lot sitting inside the cave with an empty sack. Friend Bear giggled, <laughs> pointing to a large hole in the bottom of the sack. Silly, all your love hearts have fallen out. That's how I found you. Being a kind-hearted bear, she helped love -a -lot pick up all the love hearts before she resumed her search for the others. <laughs> the Care Bears had left a picnic hamper full of delicious food to eat after they had finished their game. 
To Friend Bear's surprise, she could see the hamper moving. She crept up to it and pulled open the lid. To her surprise, the hamper was empty of food. Instead, there was only Birthday Bear inside. I um got package waiting for you to find me, so I had a little snack. Friend Bear couldn't help laughing. <laughs> her friend was always thinking of his stomach. Soon, all the bears had been found, except for Grumpy. Friend Bear called out to him. You win, Grumpy! I can't find you anywhere. There came a muffled yelp from inside the rain barrel. Help! I'm stuck. I can't get out. Poor Grumpy. He wasn't very amused when Friend Bear tipped the barrel over to try and shake him out. He was even less amused when the barrel rolled away. He found himself going around and around, feeling quite dizzy. The barrel splashed into the river of good cheer, and Grumpy popped out. Hmm, I get wet even when it doesn't rain. Funshine Bear was not aware of her friend's predicament. She was on Earth, watching a young girl called Mandy, who had run away from school. Funshine hovered over Mandy's head on a cloud, and smiled kindly. Hello, you should be in school, you know. Mandy was very surprised to see the Care Bear. She knew all about them, of course, but she never expected them to have time for her. The silly girl didn't realize that Care Bears care for everyone. She frowned crossly at Funshine. I don't care. There's a talent contest at school today, but I won't win. I'm no good at anything. All the other children laugh at me. That's why I'm running away. Funshine felt sorry for Mandy. Leaping off her cloud, she landed beside her. Nonsense! Everyone is good at something. I'm not. I'm hopeless. Everybody says so. Funshine smiled her sunniest smile. You just need some confidence to help bring out the best in you. She helped Mandy climb aboard the cloud. Where are we going? Funshine gave a warm chuckle. <laughs> to care a lot, of course. When the Care Bears heard about Mandy's problem, they were all eager to help. Wish Bear gave her six wishing stars to try juggling with. Like this. The clever bear began to juggle the balls high in the air, but when Mandy tried, she dropped them all, and they fell bump, 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 bump onto Grumpy's head. Good luck, bear giggled merrily, giving his unfortunate friend an "I'll make you better" hug. <laughs> It was lucky I was standing behind you, or he might have fallen on me instead. When the music stops, turn your cassette over. Very upset. See, I'm hopeless. Grumpy used his rain cloud to fill a glass with water. He needed a drink to help him recover from his fright. While he was doing this, Lovealot asked Mandy to try singing. Tra la la, tra la. Mandy sang at the top of her voice. 
Her singing voice was so shrill, it shattered the bottom of Grumpy's glass, and all the water rained down onto his feet. That's twice I've got wet today, and it still hasn't rained yet. Mandy felt even more glum. I'm no good at anything. Everybody's good at something. Everybody's got a skill. Some are slick on a pogo stick. Some are good at running uphill. You'll never know unless you try to find out your vocation. If you're ever so slow with the yo-yo, you could always try and use imagination. You could dance, you could sing, you could do anything. You could juggle with a lot of old plates. If they crash and splatter, it doesn't really matter. It's one more thing to eliminate. Some are ace with a funny face. Some are good at eating up with dumplings. Some are brilliant standing still. Everybody's good at something. Cheer Bear created a beautiful pair of rainbow shoes. Try dancing. I'm sure you'll be good at that. Grumpy stepped back towards the edge of the cloud. I'll、uh, stay here, just in case. <laughs> Mandy began to dance. She did a pirouette on her toes. She leapt and she twirled. The Care Bears were about to say what a wonderful dancer she was when disaster struck. Mandy stumbled, <coughs> fell, and collided with Grumpy, knocking him off the cloud. He cried out as he fell down, down towards the earth. Wow! The Care Bears quickly gathered round, holding paws. They cried out, "Care Bear Scare!" <laughs> A long stream of hearts flew out from the golden rays on their tummy symbols and chased after Grumpy. They swooped under him and carried him back to the safety of Carolot. To the bear's surprise, their friend was smiling. He had quite enjoyed his fall, and he felt very important, being the center of attention. At least I didn't get wet. Not even Grumpy can stay in a bad mood all the time. But then his face dropped as he realized that Mandy had wandered off. The Care Bears were about to search for her when Grumpy shook his head. This is a job for me. Mandy was sitting on the bank of the River of Good Cheer. Grumpy walked up to her, smiling brightly. A tear ran down Mandy's sad face. I didn't think you'd like me after all the things I've done. Grumpy kissed Mandy on the nose. Heavens to Fuzzy! Of course I like you. If you care for someone, you should forgive them their little mistakes. Anyway, you make me laugh. And we should all learn to laugh at ourselves more. Mandy was busy strumming a rubber band she had stretched between two fingers. Grumpy was very impressed. That sounds good. Where did you learn that tune? Mandy blushed. I played the guitar at home, but I'm not very good at it. Grumpy leapt up excitedly. Come on, I've got an idea. <laughs> The Hall of Hearts, the Care Bears' meeting place, echoed to the sound of lively music. Inside the hall, the Care Bears and Mandy were playing lots of musical instruments. Mandy, Funshine, and Wish Bear were playing star guitars. Tenderheart was drumming on a heart drum, while Friend Bear was blowing her daisy trumpet. Good luck, Bear was banging his clover-shaped tambourine. Grumpy conducted the band with his baton. The bears wore star-shaped, rainbow-colored glasses, which made Mandy laugh. She thought they looked like funny pop stars. When the music had finished, 
The Bears gave Mandy loud applause for playing the guitar so well. Rumpy felt pleased. It was his idea to start up a band to help Mandy practice. I'm not just a pretty face. <laughs> good Luck Bear gave Mandy a special Good Luck badge to wear for the talent contest. Not that you'll need any luck. You should have said you could play the guitar. I, I didn't think I was good enough. Good? You're sensational. <laughs> Wish Bear created a giant shooting star for them all to ride back to Earth. At the school gates, Grumpy whispered in Mandy's ear, Winning isn't everything, just so long as you enjoy yourself. I'll remember. Mandy blew a kiss to her favorite Care Bear as she ran into the school. This made Grumpy blush. The Care Bears waited until the talent contest was over. They saw Mandy running towards them, holding a silver cup. She was smiling excitedly. I won! I won! Hooray! The Care Bears cheered loudly, and Grumpy cheered loudest of all. Mandy looked at Grumpy. Thanks for helping me see that everyone has something good inside them. Grumpy, who was still in a good mood, smiled. Care hard enough and you can make anything happen. He frowned as a large raindrop splashed on the end of his nose. Suddenly there came a downpour of rain. Grumpy was not amused. The rain has made me wet. After all! <laughs> the Care Bears laughed. Their friend was back in his grumpy ways again. Shoulder you can